I want to be able to hold a gold, you know, put on that gold jacket. I want to be able to go to Canton, Ohio and have my name enshrined, you know, as one of the greats. And, um, you know, my career doesn't seem like that. Um, but, you know, that's not stopping me from my ultimate goal. You have partnered with Charmin uh, this NFL season. So what can you tell us about this partnership? Yes, yeah, so I partnered with Charmin. Um, you know, as a professional athlete, um, I'm just I'm a I'm a creature of habit. You know, I, I yeah. like to have a routine, and I I want to stick to that routine as best as possible. And so, for this Germany trip, um, you know, I, I wanted to be able to bring things um, that I feel like would would help me uh, and being comfortable. And what better way than to bring some good old Charmin, you know, toilet paper? You know, that's that's definitely a key key aspect of mine in my household. And I truly believe that Charmin is one of the top qualities of toilet papers, um, you know, that's out there. Um, so with that being said, you know, like I said, home away from home, we're traveling to a, a far, far away place like Frankfurt. And, you know, I'm just trying to stay as routine based as I possibly can. Um, and yeah, it's a great partnership for sure. Absolutely. And you mentioned the Dolphins are playing in Frankfurt, Germany on November 5th against the Kansas City Chiefs. So how how excited are you to play in this game? And not only is it going to be in Germany, but it's going to be a big matchup. Yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited. It's going to it's going to test where we're at, you know, as a team and in and, and the rankings and all that good stuff. You know, where I think I believe right now we're the number two seed and they're the number one seed. Um, and it's going to be, unfortunately, I don't know how it's going to be with the fans, you know, if chief mm -hmm. chief nation is going to be out there adult, you know, fence fans are going to be out there heavily, but you know, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Now, if it was back in the U S and we were at the chiefs or the, you know, we played the chiefs in hard rock, um, it would, it would feel like playoff football. Um, and, and we get that experience. So, you know, we're, we're a young team and, um, yeah, we're just excited to have the opportunity to play in Germany. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I didn't even think about the fans because it's just a different crowd from what you see in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Even in the London games, it's just a little bit different. So that's going to be interesting to see. But have you ever been to Germany or do you plan to do any sightseeing or it's just all about beating the Chiefs when you're there? Yeah, no, I haven't been to Germany. I'm excited to go to Germany because I'm I'm part German. My mom was born in Germany. So, okay. um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually excited to go visit um, her birthplace. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it, I'm going to do a little bit of, of sightseeing, but at the same time, you know, we are there for one reason and one reason only is to play against the Chiefs. So, um, we're, I'm excited and I can't wait. Of course. And you mentioned the Dolphins are off to a good uh, start to the season. They're you know, five and two in a good position, uh, you know, to, you know, have a bye in the playoffs and do all the things they want to do in terms of their goals. So, but what's the biggest What's been the biggest key to the team's early success? Um, everybody's bought in, especially on the offensive side of the ball. You know, um, last year we had um, – we ha we were bought in, but, you know, it's it's like, hey, now we're in year two. It's, it's going to get even better, um, and we know the type of players that we have. And you're just going out there and having fun, you know. That's, that's one thing that we really do admire the most about, you know, this team is that everybody's going out there – um, nobody's uptight. Nobody's feeling down. Nobody's feeling sorry. Everybody knows that, hey, we're going to just ride this wave. We're going to have fun and we're going to do it at the highest level. And when you got guys like that all across the board, it, it makes life a lot easier. Um, and then also winning cures a lot of things. So if you're able to get, chuck out some wins during the process, then you're you're actually having, you know, even more fun. And you're having a lot of success with the Dolphins this season. You lead the NFL in rushing touchdowns. You're in the top five in rushing yards. How much do you enjoy playing this offense? I mean, I've been playing in this this type of offense, you know, for quite some time now. And, and right. I know, right. yeah, and then I, I know, you know, the X's and O's of everything. But um, I'm just trying to play good quality football. You know, I'm, I'm trying to go out there and I'm trying to perform at the highest that I possibly can and try to stay on the field and try to stay healthy, you know. I've always told myself if I'm if I have a healthy shot, then I'm I'm pretty dominant, you know, um, and that's not to boost myself up or, you know, boost everyone else up around me. It's truly how I feel. You know, I want to I want to be able to hold a gold, you know, put on that gold jacket. I want to be able to go to Canton, Ohio and have my name enshrined, you know, as one of the greats. And, um, you know, my career doesn't seem like that, um, but, you know, that's not stopping me from my ultimate goal. Mm -hmm.
Of course. And, you know, it's fun watching this offense in action because and they're so you guys are so good at throwing the ball, running the ball, just doing everything that, mm-hmm. you know, all other offense want to do. But ultimately, what makes this offense so dangerous? Like I said, we have guys that are brought in across the board. Yeah. You know, okay. everybody's not everybody's everybody's not selfish. You know, everybody's selfless. I think that that's you know that that goes a long way. You know, if one guy gets the ball, a lot of times, you know, we're we're happy for that guy. If you know you don't get the ball, we're expecting for you to when you do get the ball to make a big play. And everybody has each other's back, and we're all accountable. And in this one. Now, Mike McDaniel's your head coach, and he's had an interesting dur- journey uh, to where he is now. So what's the best thing about playing for him? Yeah, I mean, he's he's very knowledgeable about the game. You know, he he looks at every facet of the game, and he wants to be the best coach he possibly can. And, you know, he he's definitely working his way up there. Um, you know, I was with him in San Francisco, and he was a run game coordinator. And I would go to him for little nuggets on the run game, you know, week to week, and um, it was he. He is a student of the game. You know, he he really looks at the defense. He knows what they're gonna run, and he's gonna dial up a play that you know is gonna help benefit the offense. And um, man, his journey is just like me. You know, in my journey, he was the underdog coming in. You know, he was a ball boy in Denver, and then um, worked his way up there, and then you know he got a job as a quality control guy in Washington. And then he was the receivers coach in Cleveland. And then in San Francisco, he became the run game coordinator. Um, and then he was also, um, you know, quality control, I believe, in in, in Houston. So um, he has quite the experience in that forefront. But, you know, I'm, I'm just so proud of him and the abilities that he has because he's, he's definitely like me, you know, he worked his way up to where he's at now. You know, you mentioned how the team is bought in and that's led to this early success. If that continues to keep going throughout the rest of the season, do you think you guys have a great chance to not only reach the Super Bowl, but win the Super Bowl? Yeah, we we have a great chance of reaching the Super Bowl. And, um, you know, we we know it's a week to week basis. Um, You know, we could only focus on, you know, the week, the week at hand. And so this week we go against the Patriots and and it's a division opponent. And we have to we have to, you know, we had to take care of business on Sunday and try to beat them. So, um, and, and that comes with a great deal of, of, of respect for them and Bill Belichick and his, his opportunities that, you know, he's going to try to put the best product he possibly can out there. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do the rest of the season and looking forward to seeing what you do in Germany, because I know that game is going to be a lot of fun for you guys. So Raheem, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it and good luck to you the rest of the season.